So here's a little OBD device. It's an OBD2 device that's Bluetooth for VW and Audi cars. This is from Autofix, A-U-T-O-P-H-I-X. And this one is the model number 3610, which again is for uh, VW and Audis. So we're just gonna take a quick look at it before we plug it in the car and actually get it to work. So you can see right here, Auto picks, obviously just plugs right in. And that's it. All you're gonna do is plug it in and then launch the app. So they do a nice job of putting your little codes right here so that you can find the app easily. It is the Auto picks app. And then all you're gonna do is download it. And that is what the logo looks like, okay? Auto fix right there. And what we'll do, I'm not gonna launch it here because it immediately starts looking for this device through Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug this in, in um, our VW, I'll launch the app, and then we'll see how it all works. Okay, I just wanted to show you in a VW Atlas, the OBD2 uh, plug is right here where you'd expect it to be, very easy to reach, very easy to get it plugged in. You don't have to have your car running or anything uh, to use this, just go ahead and plug it in, open up the app, the app will find it, almost immediately, and then you can start doing some things on the app. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that opened up and show you what it looks like. All right, I have the OBD plugged in into the port, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you run it. All you're gonna do is tap that auto fix app, and it's gonna start communicating. All right, so that's how fast it connected. So it connects really fast. So you got a couple different options here. Diagnostics, battery check, member center help. Um, report, feedback, and settings. Let's do a battery check because I'm going to show you diagnostics and it's going to take a little while, but let's go to the battery check first. All right, there's your battery check. Okay, so we can go ahead and hit start. Okay, please turn off the vehicle. All right, which we have. All right. So I'm not sure how long this is going to take. Um, I did do the quick inspection under diagnostic and it takes about 10 minutes but I made a little video to show you the results afterwards um, so that you don't sit through all of them. So right now it's just doing the battery measurement. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take, but it is impressive how quick it connects and finds the sensor. I mean, it's pretty much immediate. So I do like that. The app interface is nice. It's been easy to use. And I guess you just, you know, it's transferring a lot of data back and forth. So it is going to take a little bit here. So. In the interest of time, I'm not going to keep looking at that with you guys. Instead, I'd go back and check that later on my own. But then you've got settings, all right, which are really just about the app and the device. Mainly, you're going to be using the diagnostics, okay? And then here it tells you what you need, what you can do. If you go into VW Audi, all right, it's going to communicate here. And this shouldn't take too long. It's when you actually run the diagnostics and the inspections where it can take a little while just because it is moving so much information back and forth between the car computer and whatever device you're looking at it on, okay? So we'll give it a few more seconds here. Okay, hit okay. So that was a screen where it allowed you to have multiple vehicles saved in there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. So here's your choices, right? You've got vehicle inspection, all systems, um, crafter, special functions, and common symptoms, uh, system, excuse me. And if you go here into vehicle inspection, this is where it should pop up and give you the options of doing a quick inspection and then a more full inspection. So the quick one, it still takes about 10 minutes for it to run through. Uh, but I will show you what the results look like so you have a chance to see that. All right, I'm going to just go ahead, and in the next video, it will show you what that screen looks like. Okay, so check back and check it out, but overall, works really good. Um, app's really nice, very easy to use, definitely like it. There you go. Quick inspection or deep inspection are your choices, and I will show you what the quick inspection results look like. We're doing a scan, and it does say, be patient, it can take a while. So I'm not going to have you guys sit here and watch the whole thing, but I'm doing the quick inspection. So it's going through 21 different things. 
and it's going to take a little bit. So what I'll do is once it's completed, we'll come back to it and I'll show you what the readout looks like. Okay, so these are the results for the quick inspection. Like I said it went through 21 points. It probably took maybe about 10 minutes, but you can see there zero codes in my case. So that's nice. Just wanted to show you what it looked like when it was done. Didn't think you needed to sit through the whole time it was doing the processing.